what we do here is go back, 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 back. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erin, better known as Tamo, and if you're new to my channel, I upload videos every single Sunday. This video is going to be my 20 something, I don't know how many I'm going to do, but about 20 something curly hair hacks. This is helpful for girls who have been natural for years, for girls who are transitioning, and these are just some of the things that I do that help me along my curly journey. I made beauty tips, hair hacks for hair junkies, what I do while I'm in the shower. I just did a bunch of hair hacks, all the hair hacks that I could possibly think of. So if you're interested in seeing what I came up with then please keep on watching for all my curly girls you know that when you shower that even if you try and collect all that hair it's going to still get down the drain if you're gonna be curly you cannot be bougie when cleaning up the hair like there's going to be hair everywhere so what my father bought us he bought us this two dollar stick from Home Depot and it's called Zip It. So this is just a helpful way to not shower in your own bath water, which is so disgusting. So about once a month, I'll take the stick, put it down the drain, pull it out, hair will come on it and you'll just take a tissue and take it right off. So if you have a lot of shedding when you're combing out your hair in the sink or when you're styling your hair, you have a lot of shedding, using some saran wrap and putting it on the sink is so helpful. So a lot of curly girls, not only is the shower drain clog, but also the sink drain. It's easy cleanup, all you do is let the hair fall in there, ball it up, and throw it right away. When I'm shampooing, I never shampoo my entire hair. I only shampoo my scalp. So I might shampoo once a week or once every other week, depending. Once I shampoo my scalp, I just let the shampoo run through the rest of my curls all the way to the ends of my strands. My hair does not like shampoo. It gets really, really dry. My curls never form properly when I shampoo. And I'll shampoo my scalp just to get that dirt off my scalp. That's where it's most oily. And then I'll let it run down my strands. When I've used up all the gel in my Eco Styler container, I will rinse the excess out. Instead of just throwing it away, I like to recycle. My mom's like a recycle freak. <laughs> And I'll use this to hold my bobby pins, to hold my hair pins or my hair clips, to hold your rollers. You can use it for so many things, especially if you buy the bigger one and if you run out of it. It's easy for storage and you're not just throwing it away, you're using it and you can finally keep all of your hair pins and all your bobby pins in the same container. Okay, so the next hair hack, oh my goodness, it is probably my favorite. For all you product junkies out there who share showers with people, this is a good way to organize all of your products. In the description box, I'm going to leave a list of all of the hair hacks I use and everywhere that I got it from. So if I don't say here, look in the description box. But this is like an adjustable product holder. It's the best thing ever. So no matter how high or how short, your shower is you can adjust it to the height of your shower I put all of my products here so they're just not randomly like empty bottles all all around the shower it's just keeps everything in order oh my goodness like if I didn't have this I would die it's just like my favorite thing so this hack is from my old wash and go video I try not to co-wash in the shower anymore I try and do it outside the shower because it's just eco-friendly I separate my hair into four and then I'll spray it put conditioner in it and comb it out so that when I do get in the shower all I'm doing is rinsing out my hair I'm not wasting water I can actually see what I'm doing because I don't have a shower mirror and it's just better for me to cut down on the time that I'm in the shower. So if you're like, Erin, I don't have time for that. Like I don't have time to be co-washing my hair outside the shower. Something that you can do to still cut down on time is to finger detangle your hair before you get in. Now some people put coconut oil or whatever oil you have on hand, they'll put that in their hands and then detangle their hair with their fingers or with the comb. My hair doesn't really like oil. I don't usually use oil in my hair, but if that's easier for you, then put some oil in your hand and then just finger detangle your hair. So every curly girl should have a spray bottle on hand. Our curls can get really dry easily. So having a spray bottle on hand will help you not have to rewash your hair every single time you see a little bit of frizz. Just spray your hair with some water, wait about 10 minutes for your hair to dry, and then fluff as normal. So since I shampoo my hair once a week or just my and I'm just shampooing my scalp, I have to cleanse about once a month. And what cleansing is, it just strips my entire hair of all that product buildup that the shampoo probably didn't get. And it just recharges my hair and restarts it. So what I do is I take my apple cider vinegar with the mother is on the label. I think the mother is just all the good nutrients in it. So what I do is I'll take a water bottle that's halfway already filled with water and then I will add the ACV the rest of the way until it's all 
the way to the top and when it's that time of the month where I need to cleanse my hair I will just pour the contents of that bottle all throughout my hair I used to put in a spray bottle and then spray it in but this is just much easier for me I'm already lazy enough and you just pour it all throughout your hair and massage the contents into your hair as if it was shampoo and as if it was going to lather it's not going to lather but you need to work it in and, and just get all that dirt and grime that's been building up the whole month out of your hair so once you're done putting it all in your hair I usually put it in a bun and then I'll do what I do in the shower wash bathe dance around whatever leave that in for about 10 minutes and then I will rinse my hair after you cleanse you have to deep condition your hair is stripped your hair is dry now after that deep cleanse so I've had trouble in the past I'm like what deep conditioner do I use you can find DIY deep conditioners you can find a bunch of type of conditioners but if you're in between you're like I don't know what conditioner I want to use there are these small packets that are a dollar from Sally's or Target and you can buy these little packets and they're so convenient and it really pen penetrates my hair girls with curly hair should not be combing their hair dry also not combing your hair with a comb where the teeth are so close together that you can literally like rake through your hair no you should always be combing your hair while it's wet and with a wide tooth comb if you cannot see through the teeth of the comb you do not need to be using it okay so i comb my hair in the shower when it has a ton of conditioner in and i do not i do not comb my hair when it's there's shampoo in it or if there's no conditioner in it and if it's not wet i like to comb my hair from the bottom to the top this just helps me get the tangles out easier and if i find it out at the bottom I can just be gentle and rake it out all the way until I get to the top. Most people know this hack already and it's for volume. So to get the best volume, all you're going to need is a pick. I've had a pick since college, okay? And it's the best thing ever. All you have to do is put the comb towards your roots and just lift up very gently. You're not gonna pull it all the way out so that your curls are gone. You're just gonna pull it up enough to give it that volume that you want. I've also been using this hair mist spray from Shea Moisture since I was in college. I put this hair mist in my hair. I freaking love it. The smell is like, Oh my god, I just I love the smell. If I'm out at a restaurant, I'll make sure to have my pick, I'll make sure to have my spray. So I'll go in the bathroom, pick my hair out, spray it, and I just feel refreshed. Or out Hey babe. Baby girl. <laughs> what is it? Babe, I'm filming. Can I call you back in like 10 minutes? So the next hair hack is, you guessed it, a roll of paper towels. Okay, but seriously, if you're someone who likes to air dry, I used to do this all the time in high school. I never wore my hair curly, but if I did wear it curly, it was always in a ponytail. So I would wash my hair in the mornings, go to school with my hair dripping wet, but I would always have a paper towel and I would always be doing the scrunch method with the paper towel. The commute was about 30 minutes to school, so by the time I got to school, if I'm constantly scrunching my hair with the paper towel, it wouldn't be dripping anymore by the time I got to school and then it could just air dry without it dripping down my neck. It doesn't snag your hair and it soaks up all of the moisture from it. But if you're using some cheap paper towel, you're probably gonna have little flakes in your hair. So you need to buy some Bounty, some, I don't know the other brands, but you need to find one that's that's not so cheap that's gonna leave like flakes in your hair. So I don't like to use towels because it kind of snags on my hair, makes my hair frizzy. And I also don't like using t-shirts. A lot of curly girls use t-shirts to dry their hair, but I never found that that was helpful for me. It just made my hair feel weird. So I like to use paper towels if I am air drying. This here is Big Bertha. I cannot live without her. I don't like air drying the best because it makes my hair shrink. But right when I get out the shower, I immediately put my products in and sit under the hair dryer because my hair will dry at its longest state and it'll be the longest it can be I'm um, air drying you know it gives it room to shrink up but the hair dryer will just lock it in and dry it at its longest state I usually wear a sports bra under there because it's so hot I had to take five million breaks a day I gotta hit that Michael Phelps stretch my back it's just ridiculous okay but while I'm under the hair dryer I like to reflect I like to write in my journal I write down all of my goals I write down my YouTube ideas and I just reflect and love to get declutter my mind and just get everything in writing so the next thing is a diffuser okay so if you don't like sitting under the hair dryer and if you don't like air drying the next best thing is a diffuser if you just use the hair dryer without the diffuser it's going to mess up your curls but the way that the diffuser works it it makes the air come out in a different way so that it won't mess up your curls so I'll just turn my hair over make sure it's dry and it gives it a lot more volume so I love using the diffuser if I'm in a rush or I need to like hurry up and dry my hair I like to do my makeup when it's sunny outside so I'll sit in the big mirror in front of my room and I have redone my room I don't know if you guys can tell I got a new bedspread I love it and I use this headband all the time as you can see there's a bunch of concealer on it already so I put this headband on my hair before I put my makeup on it's wide enough that it can put all my hair back so I'm not causing a dent and I'm not getting any concealer in my hair 
I believe I got this headband from Icing or you probably get it from Claire's or some, it probably was a dollar. It's so cheap. I've had it for like months and months and I always put it on before I put my makeup on because if I don't, I'll get concealer all on my edges and it just doesn't look cute. It's really hard to get out. So putting this headband on really is a lifesaver. Dealing with curls is really hard sometimes and your hair grows at different rates at different times. It's crazy. So you might have one piece of hair that's just sticking out. What you need to do is get a pair of scissors and cut it off. Do not be scared to cut your hair, especially if it's one strand. Nothing's going to happen. This length is not going to be gone. Like you need, just cut it. Just cut it off. And I promise you your shape will still be there, especially if it's one strand of hair. If it's just sticking out randomly, just cut it off. Before before I get in the shower I need to put a shower some type of shower cap on and there's no shower cap that's big enough for my hair so I always use a Target bag or whatever ba grocery bag I have I make sure my entire hair is covered I make sure to clip it back so that none of my hair is exposed so unfortunately when we sleep curly girls or girls who are natural have to wrap their hair especially even if it's during the middle of the day and they want to take a nap I have to wrap my hair so what I do is I'll take a hair tie and I will make the highest ponytail I can. I don't care if little hairs are hanging down, I'll just make the highest ponytail I can and then I'll tie it up with a scarf. But not only do I use a scarf, I also use a bonnet. It's too long to fit in a bonnet by itself and it's too long to fit in a scarf by itself. So I do both. So those are my hair hack guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Leave which hack you love the best in the comments below. And this video should be posted August 21st. Today is August 19th and my birthday is tomorrow, August 20th. So if you follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, you'll probably already know it's my birthday. I wanna take the time to really, really tell you guys that I really appreciate you guys watching me and I couldn't spend my 25th birthday any happier with you guys. So, so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye.